Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and Atra. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily get amazing skin tones in Photoshop very simply and with just a preset within Photoshop itself. So, you're just going to be getting the image from looking like this to looking like this in just Photoshop with just a few adjustments, and that preset is going to enable you color grade just like this. So, I'm just going to come and delete this. And if I totally find the video helpful, Make it a point that to hit the like button on this video so that so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. So this is what we have and we want to get back those amazing skin tones. So what you're going to do, what you have to make sure that you have, if I told you have new versions of Photoshop, I'm using Photoshop 2020. What you have to do or ensure is just first of all coming and making sure that your gradient is selected right here. So as soon as you check this option, with the gradients you have to come to this other side where the gradient window is going to be displaying within your photoshop so just come and click on these lines at the end of the gradient option and come to legacy gradient so when you come to legacy gradient simply click right there and this is where the magic is going to take place actually so when you click on legacy gradient you're going to notice that it's going to open up a legacy gradient option or folder that is going to be containing something known as photographic toning. So it is this filter that we are going to be using to color grade this very image. And that is where we are going to find the preset or color swatch that we are going to be applying to this very image. So with this done, just come right here to your adjustment layer right here on your adjustments. And come and create a gradient map. So just come and click on gradient map. And it's going to open up the properties window and simply left click on this color and come straight down to your legacy gradients and come down right here to where it says photographic toning so if i told you have all the versions of photoshop you, your photographic toning is going to be there by default and you don't have to go through the steps that we did before so when you come to photographic toning simply come and you select this filter that says sapia antique so this is the filter that we're going to be using to color grade this very image so as soon as you select it you can notice that it shows you that the gradient is running from black to this kind of deep golden brown so that is what we want and come and simply press or click on ok so right now the effect is affecting the overall image and doesn't look nice at all so we just want to close this and choose a blend mode that is going to affect it in a subtle way or in a less tense way. So we don't want it to be intense. So just come to the blend mode and change it from normal. And come and change it to soft light. And you can see that we are almost there. But right now we have one setback or a drawback. The effect is also affecting the shadow areas within the image. So if at all... It is also affecting the shadow areas within the image. We want to eliminate it from affecting the shadow areas of this portrait. So what we are going to do, just come and simply double click on the gradient map layer. So simply double click and it's going to open up a layer style dialog box. So with this done, you can see that we have blend if right here. So in the blend if option, make sure that it is selected to gray and come and select the underlying layer. So by underlying layer, our effect is going to be affecting this very underlying layer right here. So in order to take away the color grading from the darkest areas of the image, we're just going to drag this from the shadow area. So just come and drag these lines from uh, the shadow area. Up when you feel like the effect has gotten away from the shadows of this very image, just like that and stop at that point when you feel like it is okay and it looks good to you. So right now it doesn't look good because we have those annoying fringing and those annoying artifacts created within the image. So we want to refine this selection. So in order to refine it, we're just going to come right here and simply hold down the alternate key on the keyboard. Or if at all you're using Mac, it is option and click on this, on this side of at those boxes and just split them just like that and you can even split this a little bit further to refine or make a better selection so that it is smooth and blending within the image 
So just come and simply press on OK. So you can see the before, after, before, after. So if I told you don't want the effect to affect the overall surrounding, you know what to do. Come and select the gradient map layer mask and simply invert it. So you can invert it by pressing Ctrl I if at all you're using PC. Or if at all you're using Mac, you can simply press Command I on the keyboard and that is going to invert the effect. So come and get your brush. Right click and get the brush tool. For the settings, it has to be hardness at 0%, opacity and the flat 100%, and the blend mode is no more. So just come and make sure you have black and white by clicking on these two squares right here. And you can switch between black and white by using X on the keyboard, or you can use these arrows to switch between black and white. So make sure white is on top. And remember, the brush is now set to white, meaning the white brush is going to be displaying what was hidden behind this black mask in the gradient. So what we are going to using that brush, we're just going to come and paint in our color, just like that, onto the subject that we want to color grade. So just come and paint in your color grading, and it's going to look okay after you have. So I'm just going to go through, or I'm just going to run or be fast with this painting process because I don't want this to be a pretty long tutorial. So just like this and paint in your color grading. So you can just come and paint it on the skin area. And in this case, uh, we are done painting our effect onto uh, our subject in this case. So let's say a quick before and after for the color grading. This is the before, after, before, after. And if at all you feel like the effect is a little bit too much for your liking, come and simply reduce on the opacity of the color grading. So this is how to achieve nice and amazing skin tones within Photoshop. And if at all you have found the video helpful, make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.